So, Christopher, what was the purpose behind starting the band? <laughs> I have no idea. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. It's about the music! Christine Hoffman is an environmentalist here on campus. Her goal is to uh, save the blue spotted salamander because uh, currently the vernal pools, the way they are, they're kind of like, soon they're not going to be sustainable for the salamander, so she's trying to like catch them and help save them. Hey Kelly, um, we are going to do the project, so don't worry about any other groups doing it. It's taken care of. Well, the Michael Bodkin experience's resolution is to construct a trap similar to hers using funnels, just like the ones she uses now, with a chimney-like apparatus with a hole so that the salamanders can be caught, swim up, and breathe, and not die. How you're going to do that, that's your proof. So if you flip the card over, you see proof. So if you're going to promise that you're going to, in six months, know the toxicity levels of a lake, um, how are you going to do that? So this is where you talk about the how. And what promise can you make to the customer? Um, uh, every trap comes with the Michael Barkin guarantee. What is the proof of this? I'll write that down. Shh. This is the experience. This is research and development. Um, day one. Working on blowing up cactuses. Cactus eye. Cacti. And they're hex uh, hexagon up. And then you can wrap them, mesh around. To prevent them. From, uh, and I, I, can, I can do with the stuff like that. Oh yes, I do need to be acknowledged. Why is it getting closer? What do you mean? I mean, you're invading my personal bubble now. Is what it feels like. So how's it look now? Like seriously, what do we All have? Right. So this is first draft. Not correct. It will improve. A lot of it's still in There's the, the bunk hole in the camp. middle, the breathing hole. The breathing hole. And that's kind of jiggling there. This would function definitely. It's Where's just the little not spot aesthetically. Ooh, fine. it's fragrant. I trap especially because uh, a, you know, doesn't kill them. That's a pretty good thing. And uh, it's really cheap because she has a budget of six hundred dollars, and she wants a hundred. So the materials, we believe we might be able to actually make that budget. You kind of like jam it in there, fill it up like that. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. It's kind of gross too. We're gonna ah, yeah. <laughs> stick in the bowl. <laughs> that sucks. This is the third time. <laughs> <laughs> We're using recycled materials, so it's really cheap. And we're using spray foam and a bunt cake pan. We spray it, put bottles, spray it some more, and it'll all cover like it'll cover the bottles so that it'll be buoyant in the water at whatever height. Here's just two teenagers being experimental. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, too far. <hard. laughs> Boundaries. Part of the experience. Aggressive. <laughs> Pretty aggressive. What did we learn? Ah! Oh, I got it on my leg, guys. You're probably. Oh, she's. <laughs> <laughs> it's set. Uh, that's it's Yeah, set. You're, you're gonna need oh some. If I hold my hands like this and let it dry, I'll have hand statues. Do it. Do it. Way <laughs> more sense. You have. Do I have to say any more? <laughs> this is the experience. <laughs> no, excuse me. Sure. Water here. So we just made our sleeve of mesh, <laughs> stapled together. And now we're gonna staple it to nah. the foamy donut. Nah. Just don't oh pull it too God. much over because we have to cover. No, yeah. you don't feel comfortable with this. <laughs> Do it. Don't get fingers in there. Although it would make great memories. Wow. Fingers, ching, ching. Ching. Watch out. Uh, that was, wow. That was, that was crunchy. <laughs> How'd it work? Um, questionably. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk down to the riverbank and we're gonna test our salamander trap on the shore. Oh. Honey, 
What do you think is going to happen, Chang? Um, <laughs> I think you it's going to be it. amazing. And Don't touch my head! <laughs> <laughs> Uber. What do you think is going to happen to the trap? We're going to test the trap in a van it's down, but <laughs> It's going to drown? Yeah. Do you think it's going to get the job done and catch yeah. salamanders? No, it's pretty bad. I was like in the water. <laughs> That's the spirit, Uber. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Okay, what do you think is going to happen to the trap? Um, crash and burn, yep. Do you want to show the trap? Look at that. Look at this work of art. Beauteous. Bam. So Amanda's going to be on that, like white on rice. So Desiree, you're going in? I'm going in. She's going in. Ready? Wait a minute, let me get this on camera. Guys, come look at the trap. Oh my god. Is it? Is it too buoyant? Yes! Awesome! There's too much air in it. There's way too much air in it. No, no, no. Yeah, the bubbles are coming out from it. Yeah, I mean, that's filling with water. What the hell? It weighs so much and it's so too buoyant. Now watch. It's totally settling. Kind of. I call it a success. Where do the salamanders go in? They go in the cold. We'll figure that out. We'll get to that later. All right, hold There's on. a flaw in your design, Michael. <laughs> yeah, your design, Michael. You mean, Michael. I think it's fine. The Mike, netting should have been longer. That's it. Oh, but it can go. Uh, we have a good concept. <laughs> maybe the trap isn't maybe the most aesthetically appealing one there is, but I think that if you were to take our concept and maybe maybe change just a little bit that you would have a pretty awesome trap and it'd be cheap too we done with this recording yeah i think we're done Touch your clothes. What would you like to tell Christine? I'm so, so sorry.